So welcome everyone to tonight's Natural Solutions with doTERRA and we're talking about spring oils for spring this time of year or just a couple questions I had from people in general um, about some oils because I reached out a couple people who are newer and said you know what oils would you like me to talk about and then a couple people who are uh, not so that's what we're going to talk about. Let me grab, I'm going to share my screen here because I actually have some PowerPoint slides for you. All right, and we're going to start at the beginning. And hopefully, it'll behave on me. There we go. You guys, it's giving me a weird slideshow. Okay, we may not be able to. Oh well, so you're gonna see my slides. Hopefully you can see them. Give me a thumbs up if you can see them. Okay. All right, so essential oils, we've talked about what they are. Most of you know they are can be used three different ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. Um, some of the oils we're talking about tonight can only be used aromatically and topically, so we'll point that out. But here we have um, cedarwood. It was requested by someone to talk about cedarwood. So I wanted to share a few words about that on your screen you can see a few things there talking about it's part of the plant is wood it's steam distilled and um, it has a warm woodsy earthy scent to it so I do have some here I don't know if you guys can see me you should be able to see me in a small box but cedar wood is a great one for relaxation it is a great one for skin imperfections. So you can put a drop in your toner or moisturizer after you've washed your face, rub it on, and it'll help with blemishes and different things like that for your skin. So it is a great one for that. But it's also gonna be relaxing and soothing for you and it's gonna be somewhat grounding. It is known to help promote feelings of wellness and vitality. And before exercising, massage some, um, one to two drops into your chest to maintain the vitality throughout your workout. So it's going to help with the blood flow and things like that. Um, again, we talked about how it helps relax you, your mind, your body. So diffusing it in the diffuser, finding recipes out there that have cedar wood, you're going to know that's going to be one for more restful relaxation. And then... Again, this is one you can only use aromatically so in a diffuser. You can use it on your skin topically. Uh, and make sure, because some people can be more sensitive to it, it is a tree, you want to try and dilute it. All right, so that's why there's an S down here on the chart. Now, the other thing is cedar wood. A lot of us know about cedar closets. So it's the same thing, you take a drop on a cotton ball, you put that in a closet or a drawer, it's gonna help keep the moths away and at bay. So that's a good little pointer for you. Some other notes about cedar, work, cedar wood that are not on here is that it's a natural repellent. There was a study done in 1984 against um, mosquitoes, adult mosquitoes. So it is a, a good one to add into your bug sprays or putting on your skin. I can't hear you, Mom. I muted you. It's on there. It's on there? Okay. It's saying it's good for mosquitoes? Insects. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's the last one. All right. Thank you. Um, not everything is always on here, so I don't always see. And then it is a good natural anti-inflammatory, so it, that's why they say it's a good one to put on your chest or on certain muscles for exercising before and after because it has been found to have some anti-inflammatory properties. 
And then another study was done in 2000 uh, about one of the chemicals that is in cedarwood. I'm going to probably butcher the chemical name, but it's an alpha ed edgemol, which is a do its dominated ability to protect against brain injury. So people with stroke, they were finding it was helpful. And um, that chemical itself was helpful in kind of preserving or helping the brain a little bit to relax again. And that's part of it. And then also to just help resist the issues of more continued damage for the, the brain. So that was interesting to read a little bit more about. Um, it is a safety, there's a safety note about those who might be pregnant. Be sure to use that with caution. Um, again, when it's set, most of your oils that have the S for sensitive, you want to make sure that if you're pregnant or nursing, that sort of thing, or you know someone who is, they just take those precautions. They talk to their doctor because usually if it's a sensitive, some people may react differently. And a lot of women who've had children and have not yet, but they say their bodies change, each child is different or each pregnancy. And so there might be some things that their body can tolerate and others they can't. So it's the same with the oils. You may not be allergic to, to a tree or certain things. You just have to watch your body, listen to your body. So that's just a pointer on that. I get a lot of questions lately from, um, Expectant moms, can I use my oils? Are they safe or not? Are they safe for animals? Most of them are. Cedar wood is one you want to be careful with cats. And if you're diffusing, um, especially in the springtime, we're trying to clean up the home. We're trying, uh, since cedar wood's good for insect repellent, people are asking me those questions. Can I use it around the pets? As long as they can get out of the room and they can roam around and they're not closed off in the room with the diffuser or the oils, then they should be okay. All right, so my next slide here, we're gonna talk about Melaleuca. Melaleuca in the springtime is great because if you're in a spring cleaning mode, it's a great disinfectant, it's a great cleansing, it's rejuvenating, it's good for your skin as well. So it's gonna cleanse your skin, it's gonna rejuvenate your skin. You can put this on neat, which there's an N on this chart, which translates to you don't have to dilute it, okay? So you can use this one aromatically, topically, and internally. It also will help promote healthy immune function, so it's gonna be a great, since it's an antibacterial, it's gonna also help support your immune system and strengthen it a little bit. So it's a, another one to want to have at home on hand to add into your homemade cleaning products, to your laundry, that sort of thing because it's going to not only be good in the air with the diffuser with some citrus oils but it's um, for helping support your immune system but also it's going to cleanse your countertops it's going to cleanse your clothes it's it's very beneficial that way the other thing is it it mentions it protects against environmental and seasonal threats so those are just a few things there um, it mentions on there from the oil oil blog there's a makeup brush cleanser which is a great recipe so be sure i'm going to show you guys in a little bit a few tips on searching under tara's website and something else i found about spring and oils so you guys can look a little bit more into that all right i want to check my notes and make sure i'm not missing anything oh um, all right, that's everything I want to talk about Maluka. I use Maluka on a daily basis. So it is one I use for my skin every single day. I apply it after I do my toner. I do add in some oil, a little bit of carrier oil, or I put it with my moisturizer and I apply it to my skin. And it's just a great cleansing and it's really helped with my occasional acne and I tend to touch my face. So it's helping prevent some of those breakouts that I might normally have because of that. All right, we're gonna move on to breathe. So we have a lot of seasonal threats coming up now that things are blooming and we don't have snow. So that means a lot of people are needing some respiratory support. Breathe is my number one selling oil for respiratory support. 
this is a great one to rub onto your chest and then you in your hands breathing deeply and even on the bottom of your feet it's a great place it'll help on open your airways because the largest pores are on the bottom of your feet so that'll help open your airways help you kind of breathe relax your lungs and be able to take things in again it says on here helps minimize the effects of seasonal threats so it's going to help support you through that and then it is a great one to diffuse at night if you have heavy snores definitely add a drop or two um, and then if you also find so you're waking up really congested in the morning and you're not using breathe try a drop or two at night it'll help open your airways and it should hopefully over some time also help you wake up the next morning and go ah, i'm not feeling all congested i'm not feeling all stuffy and yucky now um it does mention which is a good good note that a lot of people don't think of when loud noises are keeping you up at night diffuse a calming diffuse it for a calming effect that promotes a restful night sleep so it has oils to relax your lungs and relax kind of some of those spasmatic issues you might come across um so it's got those relaxing oils in it like we talked about cedarwood's a good relaxing oil breathe will not only help relax your lungs but it is a great one to help relax your brain as well so that's just a little side note there um trying to think if there's anything else on there i wanted to mention no so breathe is just an all it's a good go-to and um, we do carry we have a breathe product line so we do carry a breathe vapor rub stick we carry some um we have it in a roller ball form like this here and then we have breathe as well as little drops like a cough drop but i like them because they do open up your airways but they also help kind of suppress any phlegm or things like that and it'll also help move things out so there is a few ideas for you but again this time of year it's a great one for the seasonal and if you look there it has melaleuca in it and we were just talking about that so you know it's also going to support your immune system because it's got melaleuca and it's an antibacterial all right we're going to go on to another thing that in the spring a lot of times we start eating healthier this is something hopefully people are using all year round it was a question i had was tell me more about terra greens so terra greens are a wonderful combination of whole foods or whole fruits and vegetables yes whole foods um, whole fruits and vegetables and they're combined with doTERRA's essential oils to help your body um, with essential nutrients that it needs because we don't usually eat enough fruits and veggies in our day if you're taking the lifelong vitality pack that's definitely helping that's huge but i usually do a scoop of this every day i try to do it once a day Sometimes I do it every other day, but I've noticed a huge difference. And if you've been following doTERRA's blog lately, talking about the lifelong vitality back and some of the nutrients in the terrazyme enzyme complex, you're learning a few things in their quizzes. And they made the point on last night's quiz talking about the um, terrazyme enzyme complex, where we're, we're needing those enzymes not only for our stomachs and our metabolic system and process but we need it for our brains we need it for some energy and stamina and our hormones it affects our hormones so that goes back to you need to make sure you're also putting in those good nutrients because those are going to affect the enzymes in the balance of your hormones and your skin and your hair and all of that and i know with our diets and our busy lives we can be prone to skipping meals or not getting enough fruits and veggies or we're getting fruits and veggies that have chemicals or different things so our body has to process that and it may not even process it it may not even filter it so this is why terra grains are amazing so yes it comes in a bottle like this um, it lasts me a little while i got this one when it was 10 percent off so this is kind of what it looks like. Here's a scoop already in there. It's greenish. 
if people aren't used to taking greens, it may be a little strong for them at first, just scent wise, flavor wise. I have actually liked these. I've tried other brands of stuff. I've enjoyed this as long as I don't put it straight in water. Okay. So not only are those nutrients are going to help support your body, it's going to support your immune system again in digestive function. So it's going to work in conjunction with your lifelong vitality pack, your terazyme enzyme complex, your PB assist. It's going to just help overall. Again, it's all natural boosts of fruits and vegetables, and it's convenient because it's in just this powder form. It is gluten-free, GMO-free, and then vegan-friendly. I would hope it's vegan-friendly, considering it's plants <laughs> and oils. All right, and then directions. So I showed you the scoop. You want to add that to eight ounces of water. I do not like it in water. I prefer it in um, some sort of juice or I add it to my smoothies in the morning. So I'm adding it to more veggies and fruit, but I know I'm still not getting enough. And then you want to, it says drink immediately. Sometimes it takes me an hour to drink a smoothie. Usually when I put it in juice, I can get it down within 20 minutes. I'm a slow, slow one. I like to sip. Um, the other thing I sometimes will do 16 ounces. It just depends on the cup. Sometimes I stretch it. It's not a huge deal but this is what they found to be the most beneficial way for directions of use. Um, primary benefits there, again, we talked about, it gives your body some essential nutrients, um, supporting immune system, digestive system, and then here's a good kicker, it supports weight management. So anyone that's telling me they wanna use their Slim and Sassy product to help support you know, losing weight and cutting some of those cravings, I do recommend that they add in some terra greens because not only are they cutting out some other things, but they need to fill in with the good stuff. And this is a good, good thing to fill in as well. And again, it's a tasty source of your daily nutrients and you're not just taking a pill form either. So sometimes our bodies won't digest a pill form as easily or it kind of gets tired of certain things, so we need to hit it in different ways with whole raw foods or um, with our, our terra greens, and then also with our vitamins and supplements because there's our bodies change, our digestive systems change, and we need that extra support. Here's a little bit of nutrient facts there for you to look at and see what's in there. There's a green blend, a grass blend, a fruit blend, and then the oils that are in there are lemon, ginger, and ginger. So those are great cleansing and um, digestive support oils. So hopefully you guys can see those. And again, this is being recorded and will be posted so you can always go back and look at this later. So again, one scoop equals 30 servings. Um, you can tell I've had this for a little while because it was on sale a few months ago. So I've not had it every single day. I try to, but I haven't. All right, I have some spring diffuser blends for you ladies. So this is one that I like for more of a florally um, uplifting mint type blend. It's expressions of spring. You're gonna do Lang Lang, grapefruit, lavender, and peppermint. So it's a great, to me it's a good motivator, calmer, getting you um, into the mood of getting some things done, but also some of that floral is gonna make you feel like you're, you're getting into spring. So this is a great blend for you. The drops there mean it's one drop Lang Lang, three drops grapefruit, two drops lavender, and one peppermint. All right, hopefully you guys got that. All right, the next one I wanted to share with you is Springtime Bliss. I like this one because I love balance and I love Citrus Bliss. Um, I don't usually use Aroma Touch in the diffuser. There have been people who've had controversial conversations that Aroma Touch doesn't go in the diffuser. Guess what? You can use it aromatically. You can put it on your skin. You can't take it internally. But if you can use it on your skin, it's also being used aromatically. So it can go in the diffuser. Um, it has kind of that minty smell, but this is gonna be a great relaxing, but energizing. So it's 
it's going to kind of clear your brain. Um, it's going to cleanse the air with the citrus oils, but it's going to be a nice balancing, clean smell. Um, so this is one of my favorites. If you don't want a lot of floral, this is kind of a good go-to. And I was thinking of you, mom, because I know you can't do lavender very often and the florals, but this is probably my favorite because I don't always like florals. I like the more grounding oils and I like that citrus smell. So that's what I want to share with you ladies today. All right, I'm going to unmute. We're going to go to any questions that you might have. And then, uh, well, well done. We're not going to questions yet. But I will unmute you, Mom. And we're going to go to, I have to stop screen sharing, and then I'm going to show you something else. See if it takes me there. Apologize, this is, here we go. Okay, I have another screen, but I'm still learning how to use it. All right, so on doTERRA's website, they have, so you can see that. You're unmuted, Mom, so. Yes, yeah. I, yeah, thank you. So I did some searching because I was looking for some different blends. I couldn't remember the diffuser blends I wanted, and then I saw some different blog posts that doTERRA has, and I found getting the most of the spring season. So this is a great little article about different things for spring organizing, some different oils to use. Um, and so you can go and search oils for spring or the title getting the most out of your spring season over here in the search box where it says I'm looking for. So if you're ever looking for anything that's hair specific related, go ahead and search in there, okay? And then down here are some other recipes for cleaning. So if you're in the spring cleaning mood, here's a multi-purpose cleaner, a floor cleaner, a window cleaner, and then they have some additional diffuser, blend, um, diffuser blends for, for spring. And I like a lot of these too, but those other two are probably my top favorites, so that's why I shared those with you. Now the other thing I want to share, I posted on our website, but if you look at shop products and you scroll down, we have a new line that's called do-it-yourself accessories, which means they are now selling their 10 ml roller balls, this, like a six pack, and you can put them in your LRP orders. If you notice, there's no PV, so you won't get any PV points and you won't earn any PV points on them. But they are things that you can just have in your order. You don't have to go to another company and order from a different company and have them shipped to you. Pay and more free. That way, you get your, you'll still get your shipping points back towards credit. So this way, you don't have to pay more freight. You don't have to go to another product room. Hopefully, they're going to add more things to it, but they have spray bottles. Great this time of year if you're making homemade bug sprays. Um, insect repellent sprays, room refreshing sprays. Then we have our five, so it's our small bottles, not the 15 mLs um, of a bottle pack. So those are good for travel size if you want to fill them. And then we have our five eighths gram sample vials. So again, they are sample vials and you don't have to fill those all the way full if you're sharing with anyone. So they have those there. They have the little keychains they've had. The child resistant caps have been there. And then <clears throat> it's showing you the pipettes and the orifice remover are available in on the 30th. And then I am super excited about this. Oh my goodness. I know Barb has been to classes. I don't know, mom, mom, if you've had issues with your fractionated coconut oil being spilt everywhere and things getting wasted. We have been requesting from doTERRA a solution. And here is the solution. Um, it is a pump, so you'll be able to put the pump in the bottle and pump away, and then you shouldn't have to worry about too much spills, spillage and things like that. So I'm very excited about those. So now, I will open it up to questions.
Yeah. Did you figure the Did you figure the prices, Stephanie? On the bottles, are they a lot more expensive or cheaper? Good question. Let me look. Um, so like the roller balls. Yeah. Well, I'm now doing five ml for my classes. So if I'm doing team stuff, I will do the ten ten ml. If I have mm -hmm. new enrollments now, I'm giving them a ten ml and sitting down and making some roller balls with them. So I'm still going to order some of those. I have not had a chance because this was posted today. I have been swamped, but let me look. It comes out to about 80 cents per rollerball, which is not, not the best, but then if you have to figure in shipping, right, true. it might be about the same. Um, I don't think so. Okay. The 30 ml spray bottles, I, I haven't looked to see what they're equivalent to size wise of what I use, but those come out to be, oops, $1.25 a piece, which sounds about right. Yeah. I don't know if they are glass, they better be glass. <laughs> Yeah, they did. They um, look plastic, but I hope they're glass. They might be plastic because they carry the plastic, um, but it's it's the plastic that is safe for essential oils. If you're diluting and you're adding like coconut oil and water or things like that, so you would have to add your coconut oil first, and then add your oils, like the yeah, glass. Yeah, you add your water. You know, you'd fill it part of the way and then add your oils. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. I think, I know I had shared on Facebook a while ago, I had found people had asked me the difference. Let me see if I can find it. They'd asked me the difference between the plastics, what was safe and what was not. Any other questions while I'm looking for this? And Barb, you can type in if you're able to, if you have any questions and I can see them. So they need a little pump for the oils too, because that gets dumped every time I do it too. Mm -hmm. I will be getting a bunch of those because I've had that same issue and I don't want to waste it. No. It goes so quickly. And then I watch them put too much in and then they dump it out in the sink and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Let's see, I am looking for that. We have to repost it. It's been a while. So you have tried these two diffuser blends that you, you gave out. You think they're great? Yes, huh? I like them, but I the, know. The second one sounds good. The second one is probably my favorite, but yes, I, um, I like the other one too. Okay. Most of the terrace diffuser blends they put out, I like a lot okay i am not seeing it so it was it was further back than i thought okay that's all right how is the challenge going for you <laughs> well i didn't do well last night it's two to two of five that's very good that's the quizzes <laughs> well i know but i was I was tired and I just thought, oh, I'll just answer this one. It was wrong. I'm like, okay, I can't do that. I have to really think about it. Okay. Oh, well. Yeah, no, I'm learning stuff. That's good. Right? You learned something? Yeah. 